A federal judge and prosecutor said a white supremacist out of New York um, was sentenced to eight years in prison for illegal gun possession. Now he, they said he purchased the weapons with anti-black racist violence in mind. Now it's, they said the authorities uh, talked about how the weapons were found after they picked up Steven Patterson for a parole violation in Hilton, a small town outside of Rochester. The Patterson they say was convicted of second degree domestic violence in Missouri in 2016 and had a history of committing racially motivated crimes. So this guy was a constant terrorist. And I noticed that these white supremacists have a lot of domestic violence charges. And just to be, you know, real, most of them date white women. So they'd be beating the hell out of white women. You know, I think that it seems like that's an MO, you know, with the white supremacists, uh, the, the domestic violence and then that. Now they said that police found two guns, they said 25 rounds of ammunition, which is not a whole lot. They said a tactical vest with an expandable baton and knife and items. They say with white supremacists and Nazi paraphernalia. They say when they went to Patterson's home in November, 2020, months before, they say the white supremacists had threatened to kill Black Lives Matter protesters and said that he was ready for a racial holy war. Now U.S. District Judge David Larimer, he said, it's in Patterson sentencing hearing that the weapons were part of a racist agenda. He said, your views about white supremacy, Nazi views, racist language, they, they uh, factor in too. He said, when one considers the purpose for possessing the guns, as according to the judge. Now I say federal prosecutor said, Patterson is a supporter of white supremacist ideology who frequently expressed racial hatred for Black Lives Matter, which is code word for black people and Antifa which they view them as um, traitors to white supremacy and sometimes violently express his disagreement with local pro protests in Rochester over the deaths of George Floyd and Daniel Prude. Now court documents show Patterson said he planned to shoot protesters if they came to his neighborhood. He said, and I quote, go ahead in words to fund the police. So he said, I can start, you say murdering you all in a genocidal rate. He said by myself, he said, they'll be calling me the angel of death. He said, they will be calling me the new Joseph Mengele. That's what he said. Now, Mengele was a Nazi doctor who killed dozens while conducting human experiments in concentration camps. Now, the white supremacist who posed for a picture in front of a banner for an international neo-Nazi group, he said, blood and honor. He had a record of misdemeanors for terrorizing black people and other uh, minorities. Now, he said, Patterson was convicted in 2009 of a hate crime after he broke a victim's patio furniture threw it at the victim's home and called them the N word. It's in 2018, the white supremacist reportedly was asked to leave a pub for yelling racial epithets. And prosecutors said he shattered a vehicle mirror in a parking lot, waved a hurt hunting knife at a victim and said, I will kill everyone in this house. I will kill myself before I go back to prison. Now they say as a felon, they say he was not allowed to have guns. They say he pleaded guilty to weapons charges. They say which usually leads to a sentence of 46 to 57 months in prison with the judge's discretion. Say, however, they said prosecutors could raise the threshold because of his admission of guilt. And they say they asked for the white supremacists uh, to be sentenced to 10 years in prison for his past crimes. But his defense attorney argued there was no evidence that the white supremacists intended to use the, the weapons for violence and instead brought them out of fear of being harmed by protesters. Now, let me, let me, let me touch on this. You see the crimes that they get away with, you know, good and well, if there'd have been uh John Quavius, he wouldn't have got away with anything. John Quavius would have been locked up a long time ago, but in this system of white supremacy, they have an immunity of law. That's what we talk about an immunity of law that you can just keep doing stuff over and over and over. This was a wicked, evil, violent white supremacist criminal. And he got to roam the streets all this time, terrorizing, people in New York. You know what I'm saying? This, this is why when I talk about this system and how it's not going to be reformed, because once I realize, you know, through the help of God, that this place is not going to be reformed because you cannot reform Satan, right? This is why I say the things that I say, even though I, I may have to kick against the thorns with my own people, because my, some of my own people, when I covered, a story, I think a podcast, I think uh, a week or so ago, two thirds of black people really believe that this place will change. They really believe that that's the majority of black people and a third of black people get it. This is what I'm talking about. When I say these people are not going to change, 
Well, not whatsoever. You you wasting your time with that. Now they said the judge, you know, said in response to this, uh, the defense attorney, and said the protests were miles away. Um, they said and sentencing guidelines cannot truly weigh the seriousness of his past racist offenses and likelihood to commit a new one. That's interesting. Now all the stuff that he's done, he don't supposed to have a gun. He don't. Post, you know what I'm saying? They supposed to throw the book at him. But even even out of all of that. He still got a little leniency that you know good and well John Quavius wouldn't have got. Now, they said, and they quote, violence seems to be your middle name. That's what the judge said to the white supremacist, noting that Patterson has used the word violence tattoo, has the word, I'm sorry, tattooed uh, on his hand. The word violence, who does that? He said, Patterson has admitted that he told um, he said his girlfriend to lie to authorities and testify that the weapons were not his. They say the authorities said that he also tried to persuade other people to take the fall for him and ask Donna O'Shear, the man who gave him the gun and ammunition to back up his story while in jail. Now O'Shear was also charged and say the white supremacist sentencing comes nine days after the white supremacist Peyton Gendron had killed 10 black people and say in Buffalo, which is about an hour and a half away. Um, now the judge said, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Now he's quoting Maya Angelou, but the judge should have thrown the book at him. He still gave him an out. Now he said, and I quote, said, I guess that's not someone who works. You follow. He said, he said reportedly suggesting the, to the white supremacists read Maya Angelou's writings in prison. You know, white supremacists, they will, you know, watch, you know, different, um, movies. They would read writings. White supremacists watch me all the time. They're white supremacists. They, they know more about what I do and what other black people do because they want to make sure to keep tabs on black people. So I'm pretty sure he knows what that is. Evil as he is, like I said, the, the evil can't stay away from black people because my, my platform is totally geared toward black people completely. I'm not trying to cross over. I'm not trying to say, well, let me reach out. I'm not trying to do that because I understand black people. We got our own issues and concerns and problems, and it will take a lifetime or even more lifetimes actually to try to even get to all black people. So I don't have time to be trying to now if other people want to come in and maybe they have a black spouse or have black children and they learn from this program due to the black spouse and black children they may have other black family members. Great. I have people reaching out to me all the time from other communities and they tell me they have a black spouse or they have black children and asking certain questions sometimes. And I, I'm cool with those questions, you know, um, no problem. But other than that, my show and what we do is targeted, you know, definitely to black people, you know, but if you live in America, a lot of things, you know, will affect you, even though it affects black people. But like I said, the white supremacists, you know, they say I couldn't be the judge. And I'm like, you getting 70 years in prison. You ain't ever getting out. But let me know in the comments y'all think about this white supremacist. At least he is going to jail. He didn't get to do any major damage with those guns. Um, that's a good thing. But I tell y'all the white supremacist is the most dangerous entity on the planet earth. And black people need to always be wise when you paying attention to these white supremacists.